Hey guys, this is a video that I've really wanted to share with you for a while now, something that I've wanted to do for a while, and that is restoring my dad's old Kelpie pack that I acquired from him. I will say acquired because uh, he didn't necessarily give it to me, but I uh, it was just something that was in our family and I really enjoyed it. Um, I love this pack. It was the first pack that um, I can remember my dad taking on uh, our first backpacking trip. So um, just disassembling the pack at this point, um, getting it ready, washing it, cleaning it, sanding the frame. Um, as you'll see in this video, going through those uh, little things, um, getting it ready to die, and then paint the frame. Um, it turned out amazing. I really love it. Uh, at this point, I was um, really have always been looking for like a one-stop shop pack, and albeit that this pack is a little heavy um, being an external frame this pack carries a load exceptionally well so after I got it all assembled and everything I went ahead and ordered the trekker straps and hip belt from Kelpie um, very inexpensive and super comfortable so I had to make a couple alterations to the straps to add some load carriers for the uh, actual pack but once that was done uh, it was pretty easy from there. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, if you have any questions, like, subscribe, comment below. Um, we would just love to open up uh, any kind of conversations or chat about um, how I did it or products I used uh, in this video, paint, etc. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you when it's all over. Cheers.
So check it out, guys. If you're looking to get into backpacking, I cannot recommend a better pack that has withstood the test of time than an old Kelpie frame pack. It is so easy to restore these packs, and they carry loads exceptionally well. So, as you can see in the video, nothing too big. You don't really need a whole lot of tools or anything too crazy. Um, just some old-fashioned sweat equity. And then you can order those straps and the harness, the hip belt harness, straight from Kelpie. I think they were like 40 bucks for the total, something like that. I'll put a link below in the description so where you guys can find those, uh, the exact trekker straps and everything uh, from Kelpie. Um, if you're military, Kelpie offers a pretty substantial discount. So just pass that on to my brothers and sisters in the armed forces. Uh, and yeah, man, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, big difference between, you know, the original pack and what I like to think of as a new pack. So there's companies out there that manufacture these packs still to this day, and they start around two, three hundred dollars um, and they go upwards up to a thousand dollars. So from like. Uh, Frontier Gear of Alaska, um, they make a pretty awesome pack. Um, so yeah, Ke Cabela's makes good packs, um, just like this, as well as Kelpie still. So if you want to save yourself some money, go to Craigslist, pick up one of these packs, and throw a little money into it, a little sweat equity, and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe. Um, hit that notification button so that you can see new videos. I'm going to start releasing videos probably on a weekly basis. So with uh, me and my kids' adventures and little projects like this, a little bit of man crafting. So yeah, hope you guys like it. Cheers. Doing some hiking. New dyed backpack. We got a couple of grouse. Tom again, actually. I'm so used to shooting grouse.